Hey guys, what's up? Hey, welcome back. Joe here. Kevin. Uh, so yeah, we're right in the middle of uh, binging the West Wing today. Uh, the last episode, uh, we introduced Oliver Platt. Yeah, as Oliver Babish. Yes. Like that was an accident. Who cares? Great character. Um, we had some some really nice moments between him and Bartlett. Um, yes. And I, and I feel like to have the lawyer, we kind of talked about this in between, to have the, the, the attorney who's going to not only have to, you know, st- protect the white house not the president he's not the president's lawyer he's the government's lawyer but said. to protect the but to protect the white house um it's going to be someone who has to be able to butt heads with with bartlett and yeah. and specifically you know not a yes man martin sheen and so you need a powerhouse performer that's going to really make these scenes work and man did that happen in the last episode between oliver platt and martin sheen now, um, how much Oliver Platt we get, I don't know. I would assume we're going to get quite a bit because of it that, sounds like, yeah. the circumstances. And it sounds like the deal they made at the end, like, are you hanging in there with me? I'm going to hang in there with you for now. Which means, okay, I, I, I feel like, and because of what it is, you know, I feel like it's going to be a big thing moving forward. Because remember, um, I expect, because of what happened at the end of the episode with Charlie, yeah. I expect Babish to have an even bigger go head-to-head moment with... Um, Abby Bartlett. Yes, yes. Okay, yes. Because she's the one who signed the the medical form for Zoe. For Zoe to, to get into Georgetown. Yeah. So I expect he's gonna have to sit her down. Yeah. And and she is not a lightweight either. Um as a performer and as a character. She's very strong willed. Right. So you're gonna so I, I I really do think we're gonna have Stockard Channing and Oliver Platt having a similar moment where he's gonna be accusing her of like you screwed this up. Yeah. It, it, not, not not like attacking her, but asking her those tough questions she doesn't want to answer like he was doing with, with, with Martin Sheen in the last episode, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Where he's gonna like, Okay, we need to get to the bottom of what you what what are you covering up? Here's what you did. And I think she's gonna be just as defensive as Martin Sheen was. And I, I really hope we we see her this episode because we, we laid the groundwork out for what's going to be going forward in the last right. episode. Yeah, she's she's in it now for sure on that yeah. on that on that, app, that application. And also, this is another interesting conversation. In the last episode, we talked about whether or not he should run or if he's morally obligated to tell the pu- public about his right. health issues, which we both agree he is. Right. And also, it I'm not sure if he should run again yet. I, I want him to because of the show and because we right. see how he is, and I think he's a great president. That being said, should he? That's up for debate. In real life. I don't know. I think we need to know more about it. I think it'd have to be worse. I think he'd have to be showing more signs sure. for me to really be yeah. concerned. I don't think there's any question if he will run again because yeah. we're watching this show two decades after it aired. So we know that he does. We know it's a seven season show. Yeah. But the question of should he is a different question. It is. And it's a tougher one. You're right. It's yeah. absolutely a tougher one because there's some gray area here. There's a lot of you gray know? area. As far as is it – what's best for the country if there's a chance that he's going to be incapacitated at some point how big does how big you know do you, how, does that change who you're looking for in a vice president yeah like we need someone that's not it's only not going to be it's, yeah it's not going to be someone who like oh we're going to get a guy from texas because he's going to pull in votes from the south it's we need a guy who can actually run the country if something horrible happens to the president really like-minded right yeah because you know how at least now it is when you pick a vice president you're trying to balance the ticket right yeah. you 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 know, Biden picks a, a, a minority woman, right, to balance his ticket. Um, Trump picked Mike Pence because he didn't have any experience and Mike Pence had been a governor. He needed some of the experience. Yeah. You know, that's just um, – John McCain was seen as the old out-of-touch white guy, so he picked a so younger family. woman. Yeah. You know, balance the ticket. And so there's, there's always those games when you're yeah. picking a running mate. It always. Is, it's all strategized. All yeah, it's all strategy. Yeah, it's, it's all, it's, it's all th- for votes. But when you have a situation like this, it's, well, we need to, the thing we really need to consider most of all is, is can this person be president? You need a Bartlett, two, you always you need a Bartlett 2.0, basically. Yeah, exactly. We need someone that can be the president president. And is, is this that guy? And back to Abby. How is she going to react to this? Well, Bartlett he, wants to run again. Right. She. Yeah, they're already. Well, we, well, actually, we don't really know if he wants to run again. He well, had, he did. He did. Look, she she called him out on launching his reelection campaign. He said, "It seems like he, he said he said he does because he said I made that promise three years ago, which means yeah. he kind of wants to run again. He doesn't seem like a quitter, which is probably why. And she's smart. She's strong willed. She's a doctor, for God's sake. They're so not really speaking either. They're yeah, they're not very happy. Th- things are her. things are tense, and she's been staying out of town because of all this. They haven't really worked through the the, the fight that they've been having about him running again. Yeah, and now she's going to be in the middle of this. Yes, um, which is a whole other thing. I don't know if that." 
helps bring them closer together. I don't know if it's one more, you know, log on the fire of the uh, of, of the, the conflict yeah. Yeah, between them. Uh, I guess we'll see moving forward. But I think you're right. I think this episode, we have to see Abby back because this is a real thing that's happening in terms of the the legality of uh, of what's going on with it with the MS revelation. We need to get her in a room with Oliver Platt. I think that's going to happen. I, I think, think in this episode have it out. Right. I really think they're going to have it out this next episode. So. I I would be surprised if it didn't happen this episode for yeah. sure. All yeah. right. Do you want to welcome some Patreon subscribers? Keep in mind, guys, we are filming ahead because I'm like Joe said, I'm going to be out of town for a little over a week. So these names are ones that we're seeing this from long, uh, more than a week ago, and we'll get updated obviously when I get back and we do the new list. So if you're not hearing a name, that's why. Yeah. Um, Delaney Porter. Anna Moni, J.B. Smoove, uh, Jessica C., Luke Schlier, Brianna J., Naomi, and Sari. Thank you so much, guys, and welcome. We really, really do appreciate you being here. They absolutely do. And if you're watching this on YouTube for the first time, welcome to our channel. Hi, guys. If you don't mind, hit that like button for us. Leave us a comment down below. Where do you stand in the whole uh, moral dilemma of Bartlett running and not running again? Yeah, we've had some good conversation on Patreon, Lots and we were more more than excited to to extend it. What's his obligation of informing the public if he does run? And are you with Abby? You think Abby's not right here? Uh, also, guys, if uh, you don't mind hitting that, hit, wow, I can't talk today. If you don't mind hitting that subscribe button, seeing so stay updated all of our new content we have coming your way, hit that button. You will be in the know. Absolutely. If you'd like to see the full reactions to this and everything else we are watching, please check out the link in the description below to our Patreon page. Uh, there's a pile of content there and growing. It is growing very like, like a weed. Lloyd. DJ, I'm gonna have to ask you some questions. The less you can be pissed at the world for no particular reason, the better I think. I think this has been really well so far, Oliver. It's almost hard to believe that four different women have sued you for divorce. <laughs> wow. Entirely possible that the president has committed multiple counts of a federal crime to which you were an accomplice. Have you ever lied about the president's health? What is your answer? Many, many times. Yeah, but she didn't know. Yeah. That's why she didn't want to answer the question. Yeah. Because the answer is yes. She knew, she knew exactly what Yeah. Did. Yikes. All right. Yeah, well, because her president gets a physical and she always reports that he's in perfect health. But how do you go about that if she doesn't know? Yeah. Yeah. She can say that she was lied to, too, easily. Yeah. She, she's, like, not in trouble. So she's not liable, yeah. Right. A huge Chinese satellite is going to come crashing to Earth, and we don't know where, and we don't know when. Seriously? Yeah, it's right here. In a satellite is going to crash into the Earth. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why are you laughing? We thought it was funny. We want to see some pollen. Why? Because we need to know what to do next. We know what to do next. The perception that he's not physically up to the job or that he lied about it. Ms. Larmy. Josh trusts Joey Lucas. From California. Yeah, she's flying in right now. Fine. You want to talk about when we tell Sam? I wouldn't do it right now. The president wants him to know by the end of the day. The end of the day, then. Okay. A Chinese satellite called Zodiac has fallen out of its orbit and will be falling to Earth at an unspecified time and place. The case is running out of money. Which case? The U.S. Are you v. kidding me? No. We have 31 lawyers on a case against five tobacco companies, just one of which has 342. Tobacco has spent $380 million to the government's... That's what's on his mind. The yeah. tobacco companies. Yeah. Are they going to... You guys are gonna get hit so hard when it when it comes out. Cholesterol level is yeah, here's here's the, the annual URF physical. On the EKG yep. is slightly long, but otherwise good. The president's physician calls and gives me a short statement, including vitals. And then you make a statement to the press. Yeah, I say, is there anything I should know about your health that the doctors won't tell me? You say, is there anything I should know, or do you say, is there anything I need to know? Is there anything I need to know implies you only want to know enough to face reporters while maintaining deniability. Remember it. Yeah. CJ. This is a note from Donna Moss. She wanted you to see it right away. The sky is falling. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. The sky is falling down. Whoa! Yeah, <laughs> nice. yeah, yeah. CBO is going to issue a new estimate of the surplus. They're projecting it down? That's great news. Yeah. It's not great news that we have less money, I'm saying. Yeah, because the floor fight's going to be easier. Yeah. There's a line that ATJ and the Progressive Caucus want in the Chicago speech. I got it here. Is it a good line or is it a dumb line? Sam's critical. You want a real tax cut for working stuff. family? Are you aware that a year ago, January, the president had an attack? I am now. Well, what do you think? I can see T fly. In my entire life, I've never found anything charming. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great comeback. Yeah. Really? Do you know what time it is? It's five past noon. I'd like you to get out of the habit of doing that, answering more than was asked. Oh, he said, what time it is? Yes. 
Okay. <laughs> you get, yeah, that makes sense. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, Batman and Robin. Which one's which? Look at me, Sam. Am I Robin? I'm not Robin. <laughs> yes, you are. Okay. This is really the first administration in history to favor slower economic growth. I favor when it gives us a bat and ball on tax cuts. Yeah, okay, great. now I get yeah, it. Yeah. Christmas in Paris. But there's a line Billionaires don't get a tax cut in this much better world. Good afternoon. Welcome back, Mrs. Yeah, Bartlett. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. She's here to talk to Oliver Babish for sure. Yeah. How come I just found out about this? How was the flight? <laughs> Jed, how come I just found out about this? When we're husband and wife and parents, and before we launch into palace intrigue, we do welcome back, how was the flight? A parent had to sign the form. Did you sign it? No, you did, Hot Pants. <laughs> I signed it? It's going to be OK. Because I didn't. Because that's because I didn't. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's great acting. I hate Ellie's boyfriend. She told me. <laughs> I need you to speak to the White House counsel, Abby. Yeah. I know. She might need her own lawyer if it's a thing, because I'm not yeah. sure if the White House counsel covers the First Lady or not, because she's not a government employee of any kind. Mark's give him more. No. Why? Because we're going to lose. So you give him enough to win. We'd have to liquidate the Grand Tetons. I'm going out to the airport. All right. Do a job. Oh, he's meeting Joey at the airport? Yeah. They really go cloak and dagger on this. Really are, yeah. The top 1% of wage earners of this country pay for 22% of this country. Well, the, 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 the disparity is bigger and worse now. Yeah. Joey. Is that a new guy? That's not Kenny, is it? That's not. We can't talk about this in the car. She's not getting, not in the car. getting in the car. Yeah. She's getting back on a plane. But yeah. Eight years ago, the president was diagnosed with an illness that was never disclosed. You want to ask me some questions? Yes, ma'am. About Zoe's health form. Yep. It was a form. So the president wasn't in the room when you signed it? I don't remember. He doesn't remember. Mrs. Bartlett. Oliver, you have kids. There are forms. He will say, Mrs. Bartlett, do you have an MD from Harvard? Yes. Are you board certified in internal medicine? Yes. Are you not able to rec if he was in the room when you signed it? From a president who has just announced that he has MS. I don't remember. I'm not sure you have an appropriate appreciation of the size of what happens next. Oh, I'm kind of excited for when they huh. do this. Yeah, we're deciding well, there's a chance probably this a live this interview oh, for sure. followed by a press conference. <laughs> <We went laughs> She's very governor. good. Governor. Of the state. Michigan. Well, Michigan, and yeah. And you give yeah. him a degenerative illness? Fine, but there's a giant object hurling its way toward us at a devastating velocity. Tell me about it. <laughs> Yes, the falling satellite is a metaphor. Yeah. I wanted to be here when you were told. I didn't know they were going to tell you last night. And I was, I was almost sure I saw you giving the president an injection of something. It was beta seron. She's going to have to disclose that. Yes, she the is. The president has his physical, and I do the release. I only ever ask, is there anything else I need to know? Is this assistant AG, Martin Connolly? When he left my office this morning, he, they perpetrated a fraud against the public. They want to get these people. We're not big tobacco. Now you're the yeah. president. We're putting a poll in the field. How? We're using a woman Josh and Toby trust named Joey Lou. Why don't you get Sam? Yeah, Sam's got to be told. But now the president's got Leo worried. It's going to look like we announced it because we took a poll. Butch and Sundance peering over the edge of a cliff to the boulder filled rapids 300 feet below, thinking you better you. not jump because there's a chance yep. you might drown. It's the ball that's going to kill you. <laughs> oh, that's a really good use of that line. Uh, Donna got hold of his fax that was sent to the press office from the OSF and NASA. Well, we get that fax once a week. Yeah, but Donna doesn't know that. She thinks it's an emergency. She doesn't know that these things fall out of the sky all the time. Once every 10 days, as a matter of fact, not one person has been hit. That's cool. That is so cool. I suppose yeah. there's an argument to Lucky, yes. <laughs> Are we not going to see him tell Sam? Dang it. Dang it. I don't know why I want to see it so bad, but I, I just want to gauge I know, the reaction from everybody. They'll probably address it in the next episode. Sure. Or, uh, 
Well, Sam will already know. Yeah. We'll be moving on. Well, we started this episode with CJ finding out. Obviously, right. it's as close as we're going to get to it. The Toby moment was a moment that, like... Toby moment's it. Toby's the only one we got to really see. Yeah. Which, uh... He's yeah, the right it one. It was the most powerful moment, right. too, He's, he's the right course. person. Anyone else is going to be a let down from the conversation with Toby, for sure. Yeah. Because Toby's one's going to fight back. Definitely intentional, then. Yeah. Um. Okay, so... <sighs> I'm glad this was the episode that followed up the last one because the last one was such a powerhouse episode mm-hmm. of like, oh my god, what comes next? And it kind of feels like just a continuation of that. You know what right. I mean? Like, we got Mrs. Bartlett involved now, and going forward, man, we're going to have to roll our sleeves up on this one because it's going to be a fight. How yeah, do, things are going to be intense, aren't they? How do you feel about them basically giving a governor of Michigan MS? Well, it's just a poll. Yeah. Um. So, it's just going to be a simple, like... I don't know how effective the answer is, and I don't know what they're planning on doing with the information. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know what the poll questions are, so I don't know how it's going to gauge, like, well, here's how we tell the public. I I think you just have the president walk out and say, here's the deal. I'm fine. You know what I mean? I I don't... I don't think the polling is going to change anything, really, except to, like, get them ready for how upset the people are going to be. I think it's – I think you're right. I think the right answer is just to come out and say, hey, this is what's going on. Right. But at the same time, the big thing they have to worry about is the legality. Oh, yeah, they're legal that trouble is, for sure. That is the thing I'd be right. sweating bullets over. It's yeah. just like, am I going Did to Did you prison? break any laws? Right, yeah. Because I mean, they're going to be in front of a grand jury eventually, right. which I wonder if that's how the season ends. It's like well, they're being it, perjured. Well, or not perjured, but, uh, uh, you know. Uh, subpoenaed right and let I me mean, let's face it in this day and age I, I i know this was 20 years ago but you know what happens now everyone gets pardoned and it, do, it doesn't matter it doesn't you know? matter but that was donald trump who kind of created that everyone everyone who does something dirty around me gets gets pardoned and that's the way it's going to be yeah um that wasn't really a thing in this time in this no. time we were a little bit better people uh, it was certainly uh, a president Right, yeah, yeah, for sure. So I don't know. I mean, it's not unprecedented. It happened with the, a lot of it with the uh, Nixon administration too. Oh, I guess. Guys, no, there, I there, guess there, so. There were pardons there too. But even that ha- that that was handled so much differently. Oh, it was so much of a sure. bigger deal. I mean, right. I say this wasn't a big deal, but I'm just saying like it, people got punished, but at the same time they did get punished. Right. And it kind of hung over the presidency. And I think we had for a long time, well, Nixon didn't get punished. He should have. He did not. <laughs> right. He did not. I mean, like in the public eye, he did. Right. But at the same time, it's like a long time had passed and everyone was like, rightfully so Nixon's a, a bad guy. Right. That's not the case nowadays. <laughs> yeah, no. That's not the case at all. No. Um, yeah, it's a different world now, for sure. So 2017 so to 2021, we really just changed the rules on what we can expect for behavior from presidents. They're just out the window, and now anything goes. Um, I mean, we'll see. Um, but given when this is written, and given that, you know, Aaron Sorkin's, in, in Aaron Sorkin's world, bad things get held to accountability, usually, I expect there to be a huge public outcry, and I think you're right. I think there's going to be a huge fight after the fact, right? I think it's going to be, you know, I would sit down CJ Craig and I would say, this is going to be a hard time for you in yeah. your job. I mean, that, maybe that's why we got her reaction with Babish so much huh. because for her being the, the face of the administration, no one's going to take a bigger beating over this than CJ. Yeah, I know. And I, that's what she's really upset about too is she's right. the face of the whole thing. Yeah, she's the one, she's the one that the press is going to be pounding. They're going to eat her alive. Right. And, um, you know, as far as the show goes, it, I don't think he's written himself in a corner, but it certainly appears to be that way. You write yourself with your, uh, up against a wall, and I love it when, when movies and shows do that, and you're like, how are they going to get out of this? Right. And then obviously they pull it off, you know what I mean? They're going like, to pull it off, right. And I can't wait to see how that plays out, because my God, is this engaging. And my God, is uh, it never, the I stakes just, have never felt this high on the show. Right, and what's really cool, I think, moving forward with the rest of this season and in season three is you're going to have to, it, with, with this, uh, up against the wall with this and this information out there, you're going to have to run the campaign of all campaigns to win. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I was like, you better be able to bring it on all fronts. It's either that or the, the opponent is just so lackluster that they don't <laughs> right. have a choice. You know? Yeah, <laughs> the guy gets caught with Nazi memorabilia or something. You know? <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Car. Yeah, exactly. Well, sometimes, yeah. like a, like a uh, succession. <laughs> yeah, he gets, a, gets a hood ripped off of his head at a clan rally. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. But, uh, yeah, um, I, I, I fully expect it to be uh, a fun watch, an exciting watch. It's, it's very because, fun. It's, yeah, it's very fun, because, yeah, because we're gonna, we are going to see some battling going forward. Yeah. So. Yeah, and I, I really can't wait to see what happens next. But, yeah. I mean, we've got 
three or four, actually maybe three or two, two or three more episodes left. Right. I think because we're I, don't, I can't remember. I can't remember. It's, it's either twenty-two episodes. or twenty-four on the season. I think uh, I'm not sure. So uh, we're we're getting the nitty gritty, obviously. Right. And, uh, like Kevin said, he'll be on vacation next week, so we'll be a couple weeks away. And uh, yeah, by the time you're seeing this on Patreon, and we're still going to be a week out. You yeah. Guys, we we doubled up so that we're not missing any time. Um, so as, we'll, as far as releasing, we'll be waiting patiently. We'll be waiting patiently. <laughs> you guys, you have won't to have to. Yeah, yeah, we're still on schedule. Right. All right. We'll catch you next one, guys. See ya.